jazz hands. Tempo change. Oh. <laughs> 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 that high C. Get that high C on the trumpet, everybody. Yeah, good Beautiful. job. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. That Might was... Uh, <clears throat> Might be my favorite. Might be my new yeah, favorite. Yeah, it's real good. That um, was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. kind of was. Yeah, mixed with us. Um, that was called Valley Cast Jazz Theme by Ooh. Veloz Machine. And uh, the description of it says, A skeet scat bap da bapa de boo. <laughs> Becca de goo. That's where Becca de goo. <laughs> I feel like whoever was on skeet the stand-up bass was a little aggressive. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. He, was, he, yeah. was hitting, he was hitting those strings pretty hard. Yeah. A bit of a hand. Well, sometimes you got to hit him yeah. hard. He was slapping the bass. Sometimes you got to hit him hard. Honestly, I have never met a stand-up bassist that wasn't just a complete egomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I know, uh, the moment you say I it. Know, it is absolutely that. Did you um, see that my instrument was the biggest? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> 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 you Welcome. See how big it was. It took my whole body to rock it. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't well, even stand without it me. It's such a thing to commit to to learn it to is. do that. It's, it's a huge so Because then you have so to big. carry that stand up bass. Yeah. I have seen at a wedding once a stand up bassist do a twirl and the bass fell. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did. Ooh. I do remember seeing that because I remember Lee. thinking to myself, I got to put that somewhere. Did you see when I dropped my stand up bass on stage? I did, Randy. That was on purpose. He owns it. He owns it. Wow. The Did you hear the sound it made? Yeah, yeah. Totally. It was the it was loudest like, thing that happened boom. the whole okay. time. Yeah, it does. Uh, really. Welcome to the Valley Can I just cast, get the shrimp? <laughs> uh, I um, I date uh, women sometimes, just so oh. you, if listeners know, and okay. sometimes I uh, meet up with people. Brag alert. Who I reach out to uh, over the internet, and because it's a 2018, and I have a good time, and um, and I'll go and I'll we'll have a drink, or we'll have coffee or something, and that'll be that. And I do it uh, as a way of meeting people, and it's really enjoyable and whatever. So I reached out to this girl on um, the internet, and I we started talking. This was like a week and a half ago, and I uh, she replied, and we started chatting. And right out of the gate, she said that she was a Trump supporter she voted for donald trump who is our current um president and like age sex political affiliation yeah Yeah. very quickly classic and the the kind of like nihilist and sort of like like i'm gonna (laughs) i was like i'm gonna experience and so immediately i was like oh we gotta like meet up immediately and she was like why was that why did you feel like you had to meet up with her um there's a lot to unpack there probably sure Uh, yeah let's unpack it i think probably you got time man it's the top of the podcast you know uh (laughs) (laughs) i think maybe part of me was like i'm gonna save her in some way and live and 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 be like because my parents i grew up very conservative i don't know if you guys have but that sometimes is a a process and it's a very sincere thing there's also a nihilistic sort of like this is gonna this is going to be a story and it's going to sure, be fun. Yeah. And I also want to hear I want to hear different people's perspectives because I live in a bubble in Los Angeles and everybody's like mm, everyone is Sure, like maybe she was going to save you. Right. Exactly. So let's oh. see what happened. And um and and, and in a way she did. And uh <laughs> and so yeah. we meet and right before I went in I texted Mike and I was like Mike Falzone at Mike Falzone. Heard of Mike him. in the morning. YouTube.com slash Mike Falzone. And I uh, I was like, hey, I'm about to go have drinks with this. Dynam- ha- dynamic banter. Dynamic banter. Hashtag dynamic banter. Hair. And uh, hashtag the fundamentalists. And, uh, Barats I, and Beretta. Barats. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> Source so fed. <laughs> the I Philip DeFranco show. Stage production of Pippin. <laughs> <laughs> I did a Nickelodeon commercial when I was 13. <laughs> a funny vine I did. <laughs> <laughs> I made a good sandwich last night at 9.30 p.m. Oh, wow. Um, that I'm interested in. So I text Mike, and I'm like, I'm in. I was like, I'm going to go have drinks with this hashtag MAGA girl. And he's like, he just says, ha, 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 like 16 ha's. And he's like, I hope you come out of this with a story. And I was like, the best story is going to be if I end up actually liking this person. And so I go in, she shows up, and we start having drinks. This is in West Hollywood, and we're having a great time. Four hours go by. We start talking about politics, our families, our jobs, what we're doing, what our perspectives are on things. It We hit it off. It goes great. She says some politically incorrect 
correct things. And then um, I wish you could say. Um, I think. Oh, I, I'm gonna I say. I think you can allude to them. At oh, least. don't worry. Oh, you're gonna get go into detail on what she said. We're gonna have a oh, I can't time. wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Um, because I was like, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta let. Yeah, let yeah. me. I know. What, Simmer. I got I'm it. I'm here. I'm I just got listening. It. It's on the stove. Just listen. You don't worry. It's gonna be good. Okay. It's, it's so, so she says this thing, and then immediately I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. And uh, and then that starts a whole conversation about like being politically incorrect. And I was like, that's fine. I was like, I also just like worry about people's hearts and where they're coming from, and like that's where that comes from. Like the political correct thing is one thing, uh, and people can get whatever and I, I go off on my little soapbox about it but then the night ends and we hug or whatever and it's very like nice but i was like mm, you know we'll see what happens and uh and so i leave and she starts texting me and she's very much like hey i like you let's meet up again let's let's sure. hang out again and i was like okay cool and so memorial day rolls around and Heard of it. it's the uh, yeah it's a great day i go to this memorial day party i have a great time and then i'm leaving and i'm like well let's go have drinks again so we go, and she's like, okay. And so we meet up, and we go to the, uh, another uh, bar, and we start talking again. And this time it's a little bit more quiet, so I could actually kind of, like, understand what she was saying more. And I just lost my – I'm going to – yeah, maybe we can – okay. There we go. It's like, oh, I'm, I feel like I'm about to tip over to the – anyway. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that there it is. Oh, so close. So close. Sorry, guys. Is it's it better? Very difficult to okay. hear. I don't think anyone understands what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, half my head. I'm so close. Right I'm so close. <laughs> uh, th- that's almost there. Th- we got to figure that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> like Joe jerking you off onto the table. Yeah. One more time. One more time. One more time. Uh, so, so we meet up again. And we start talking, and then I start telling you guys about yeah. it, and you start giving me all this shit about yeah. dating a Republican, girl, yeah. and you assume right well, out of the gate that she's racist. Dating a Republican. Dating a Trump supporter. Dating a Trump supporter. Dating a Trump supporter. You're right. Yeah. And yeah, I got to know a lot of Republicans. Yeah. Republicans are good Trump people. Supporter. Sure, sure, yes. Yeah. Many of them are. Many, like uh, John McCain and all that. There's a good, there's some good she, ones. So anyway. She also said some things. Yeah, you also said, though, you assumed that she was racist, when, wherein she only said one overtly racist thing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was a pretty big one, On though. the first yeah. big one. <laughs> pretty big one. <laughs> and this is the worst part. Uh, she said that um, she referred to an African-American man as um, uh, not the N-word, but um, definitely a, a meme that went around uh, uh, a, a large man. In, in, yeah, anyway. I have burner. Um, Burner at the stake. I yeah. Know, she, yeah. Well, it, it, <laughs> give her a chance. Lee. I love how my. I just my <laughs> thing is the fact that you still were like, I'm gonna have sex with this person after that. <laughs> I wasn't. Um, deep down, I knew I was, but I was definitely gonna see her again. So anyway, I Monday rolls around. Don't 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 I don't I. We're all don't I you. chat about me like I'm not I'm in the I room. I chatting you and jerking you off under the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in some ways, that's very true. So anyway, I'm uh, just disappointed. <laughs> bullshit. I have a fun time. So anyway, I was disappointed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Truly, Steve yeah. was hurt. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then very rightfully so. But I was definitely like something. Something is with this person. I was like, we're going to figure it out. And so um, I start telling you guys about it, and then I go home. This is like Thursday night, and I'm starting to tell my roommate about it, Dr. Peter Rollins from the Fundamentalists, and Barats and Beretta. Uh, a sandwich which I made last night. <laughs> and um, he, his girlfriend is like, can I see what this girl looks like? And I'm like, yeah, sure. sure so we're I, all curious. I pull up a photo of, uh, of her in like a MAGA shirt and uh, like a Make America Great Again shirt. And I show um, his girlfriend and she's like, okay, whatever. And then I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go and just like get a, a drink and chill out for a little bit and been a long day. And so I'm down at the bar and I'm texting with the girl and I'm texting with you guys and having a great time and relaxing and it's a very pleasant sure. experience. And then um, I get a call from my uh, my roommate, which is a very weird thing to get if you have a roommate. They're not supposed to call you, yeah, especially yeah. you. Yeah, no, and yeah. you live like two seconds away. Yeah, and um, it's just dead silent. And uh, and then I hear him go, Elliot, and I'm like, Hey, and he's like, Where are you? And I'm like, I'm at the the bar. And he goes, Okay. Um, and his voice is kind of like like wobbly or warbly, and yeah. he's like. I don't know how to tell you this, and it might not be true, but my girlfriend just found this girl in her last name, and and he 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 Googled she her. Googled her. I'm sorry. Yeah, she Googled her, and there's all this stuff online about her being a massive catfish and con artist. And if you Google her name, there are articles about her as well as over a dozen. Mug shots, and sh- it says that she's been convicted of over twenty crimes. Um, and I, I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then we immediately started laughing about it, and I freaked out in the bar by myself, and was like, hold on, 
wait what and so hold then, on what's google hold on back from the beginning you found she has a last name you have a girlfriend um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> who are you uh i made a sandwich last night so uh, i uh i go, got some bread <laughs> there it is uh i go back to the apartment and we're just having a field day but they've pulled up like like court documents yeah. and they're showing me all of her mug shots which this are is just real. she's a convicted year, felon year 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 after 20 yeah. times and and she here's where it gets real crazy oh, and by man. the way don't show any any stuff if we're if you were thinking that we're not going to show any any stuff um but anyway cuz she's cuz she's a criminal and I feel bad for her but anyway uh she uh she based I know well you know she's not okay and and any I I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the bungle music. When you bungle it. Steve's not even playing it. We're all just thinking about it. It's all playing in our heads while you tell this yeah, story. Man. It's subconscious. <laughs> You're not gonna I don't like it. Uh, okay, I don't like so it. So you bungled it. You went up This is to why your... I didn't tell the story first with you fuckers. <laughs> okay. Just listen. Just listen. You went up and you... So hey. listen. Yeah. Oh, anyway, man. this is the fun part. Okay. I just want to say... Mazel to the woman that Googled her name. I know. She saved my life. Jesus so Real Christ. quick, I feel like you left out a, a very important uh, description because we're, uh, we're you're telling it on a podcast for the first time. It wasn't just that she was a cute Republican MAGA supporter. She also, part of her thing was that she was a super She's successful. Super successful. Yeah, yeah. Super yeah, rich, super, super successful. Rich, super successful. And business Had all these woman. business ideas very and backed everything up. She had an yeah. excuse for everything. She answered questions before I asked them. Like, she would kind of lay this foundation of, like... Jet-setting lifestyles. Jet-setting, yeah. But yeah. very, like... Also, she looked the part. She talked the part. She backed it up with, like... Like photos, she has like a heavy very... Instagram. Like she has yeah. like yeah. A, a constant Instagram. Yeah, she had it, and all very like she would send photos. Like it was very. She, it um, looked like a posh lifestyle. Very posh, very, but also yeah. in, cr- incredibly believable. And yeah. so, anyway, the thing is, back in like 2017, back in the day when I wasn't getting a ton of work, yeah. I did a, a television pilot for TLC about yeah. catfishing, and I told this woman about it on the first day yeah. like halfway into it i to- what was her reaction well lee in thank hindsight. you for asking she uh <laughs> she no i noticed in the moment which was she ignored it and when she ignored it i go did you hear what i just said and uh and then she was like yeah i just moved past it and i was like okay and that was weird and then on the she next she just didn't day, want to talk about it mm-hmm. at all right and then but imagine you're you're conning somebody and somebody says that to you and you go to meet with them the next day again and she's like, this guy's not smart enough to, yeah. to connect exactly, the pieces. Yeah, exactly, yes. And oh, and then on the next day, I looked at her and I go, you're hiding something. I was like, there, there's, and she goes, what do you mean? And I was like, there's nobody who says that they they own everything as much as you do who isn't hiding something. Yeah. And, but uh, you said that, you said that in a flirty way because when you say yes, it like that, it yeah. sounds aggressive. And you were I like, bet you were yeah. like, you're hiding hey, something. something. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna find, find out. out what it is. But at this yeah. point, you thought Hopefully you were I'm alluding to You guys were there, you saw it. Yeah. But, but you were alluding to a genital thing. Mm. Yes, I was like, something is going yeah, on. Yeah, something down there is different. Um, yeah. You're yeah. hiding something. Uh, and It's my penis. Also, apparently, according to- If you play your cards right. According to what was also Googled, she's potentially still on on the run and currently Lam. on um on parole and sh- and like out of state <laughs> Uh, so let's, right. let's take this. No, hold on. Let's take There's this. nothing you can do that does nothing but detract from okay. the, the pure absurdity already. Let's take this. You're I know. Just like, <laughs> you're, at, you're like dumping sugar on a cake. I guess you're right. Yeah. I love sugar. But cakes. it does make Jokes it sweeter, doesn't it? It is. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Wait, okay, so then I just want to say, in the future, maybe we Google last name. I don't no, know, man. No. I'm not you into that. This, I this hate this. No. I hate this so much. You guys are I hate morons. it so much. No, no, no that's no. also... Full, it's so paranoid. Morons. Here's it's why that's wrong. It's not paranoia. Because, look, I, what I'm trying to say is, if Jesus you found Christ. something out, and this is actually, I'm going to do a call to motherfucking action, Ooh. okay? Because if you found something Ooh. out about someone before dating them, you, I promise you, you wouldn't go on a date with them. And that 
it is the relevancy there. Like if you literally went on there and you were like, okay, child pedophile. Yeah, but like you're not supposed to, but you don't, like we don't have the privilege of knowing that until you experience something. I don't like, give Like it's a the shit. same thing with it's everything. It's like you don't go into yeah, a job a, and. No, like, not to be this person, but that is what a beautiful white male privilege that is. Uh-oh. Not white male, but what a male Uh-oh. privilege that is. I it think... is a truly beautiful male privilege. I Google everyone's last name because I'm a fucking woman and I want to be caught in a room with them. Sorry, I did Jesus. say why you're right here. Right. I'm so sorry. Now you're pouring sugar into the crock of shit, please. <laughs> Stew it. No, up. I'm not. It is such a male privilege because it's you're truly right. like it is. It it's truly different. is. It, but I think what, what you're can, saying though is that I should. Like, so that you should because no. wouldn't you? You don't want to know something about someone like either they're no. a convict and going to take you for all your it's work. Like, Absolutely it's not. like there's it's this is tinfoil tin hat shit. I really and think also, it's really one of those things where it's like it's like look to truly be like is this person. A psychopath. Well, it's or not like I'm gonna but, ruin but my like, life or not. not. But like, you're lo- lucky that you didn't get fucked I am. over. Um, I'm also like, this just creates a, a, a like a, it, it just. I want to know what I want to know what the listeners think. Truly, I want to know. It, like, but, before, but I just I think you it just Google it someone feeds, before you go it, out with it. It feeds that that paranoia culture. It just really There's does. There's paranoia it's culture like, about everything else. This is someone that you want to potentially spend time with and devote like, your life to I, and trust. I'm I'm you one, can't trust someone out out I, of the gate. I, I'm always one to say that like you know um if you have nothing to hide then why are you worried about like siri like listening to what you want to buy next weekend or something you know what it's, i mean like i'm i'm like there's a degree of like obviously the whole like intrusion intrusion like in, invasion of privacy thing that i think kind of leads into the whole just thing just a last name but you just, just make sure they're not on any here's, crazy here's list the implication. Yeah. i don't understand why this here's is so I black find, and white at yeah. this time i think it's weird here's what i find very offensive about it here's where the black part comes in for me uh well for her it was a, the racist part but um <laughs> the, uh, sure. hey, uh, the implication is that joe's not happy. this is preventable no. Or that, like, as a victim of being conned, I'm to blame in some way. And I do no, take a side to that. No, exactly. there's no, there's, there's no. That. It is what, it, that's what you're doing. It's a victim Yeah, you're right. Like, no, next but time, I'm truly look just ahead saying, and this won't happen. No, this right. is a lesson, though. The lesson, it's no, it's like not. A, it's this not a lesson. This is an insane thing. And it will affect me in different mm, ways in, in know, regard. Man. Here's the thing. Events affect people in different ways. This will affect my trust. It will affect like how I move forward naturally. So I'm not going to then retroactively go like, "How was this my fault? How could I have prevented it?" No, 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 it? no, no. It's no, an no. insane. It's not thing. like a your fault thing, but it is one of those things of like looking forward. It's it's a it's truly one of those things of like maybe in the future because this because you can get caught in this. And again, you're lucky that someone came along and like Googled that person and like thank God that that then you have to go on a different level of like what brought that up? What brought that to your life? Like how fortunate do you feel no. in that sense? You I, don't feel fortunate in any way. You I think just, that course, that would just happen no matter I just, what? I, of I feel, course, no, I feel like there's that's a, different. That's not what we're saying. I feel like there's advice to be given to someone after something happens. And then there's advice to be given to someone before anything even close to that happens. And I think that like Elliot has learned on his own that now to be, he needs to be a bit more careful. I mean, I don't know. Everyone needs to be careful. I mean, when yeah, but I also was careful and nothing bad did happen. But you're right that it is a privilege of being male. Like I would never say if I was a girl, I would Google every single person. Yeah, exactly. To the ends of exactly. The and I think that's the point we all kind of came to when we all talked about this the other day. I think it is one of those things where it's like, yeah, men definitely have an easier world to live in with dating and things like that. It's just it truly is one of those things that it. it I don't know. I I guess my 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 own paranoia comes from is that like I think you and look I get it but I think there's a thing that it's like if you know something about someone immediately you wouldn't give them the second chance you wouldn't give them that and I understand that like here's like paranoia and diving into it but like don't I'm I'm immediately going into relationships and things like this out of like a need and want for love and companionship and so I want to know pretty immediately well some people just want to get their rocks off sure the, sure. That's fine. All that's fine. But there's diff- there's good like practices to put in place, and I think it's a personal choice across the board. Like if you want to Google people, go for it. In my mind, when if somebody were to Google me, I would be like that in and of itself. I'd be like would be a, a deal breaker for it's me. A red oh, they flag are. They all are. All, all of them are googling. Well, that's yeah, fine. but that's, that's a, re- that's a red flag. If I heard about it, then. to me, they're all women. Flag. Why is that? Why? Well, that's that's like, fair. That's fair. You're like, right. Don't you want to learn who I am? Like, what if I'm not a Googleable person? Like, what if I'm not like a what I'm just like a Jane? I don't think it's weird. I don't think it's weird. I think it's weird. I think it's weird. I think it also gives you a skewed perspective of what somebody is. If somebody Googled me, and so does a Tinder profile. So does Instagram. Instagram is bullshit. All of it's bullshit. That's fine. But I'm not. 
going to like Google mm. some. It it does feel paranoid, and it also feels yeah. it also feels like I just don't care that much. Like I'm not gonna. I don't have. I don't care. Even like, after if I went like, on a date with someone, bad happened to you in that sense. Well, yeah, the, could have really bad happened to you. Lessons but those, learned. Yeah, those events. This type of event is such a crazy tinge. Like it's so insane. Here's the thing. I recognize her mug shots. They were used in promotional materials for the show <laughs> I did. Jesus Christ. So, so that bungle so, music. Yeah. So yeah, when where's that bungle music? <laughs> I came around on the bungle. Yeah. Movement. But listen, <laughs> it this is the type of event that it's so isolated and insane that to then look at it and go, well, this just goes to show X, Y, and Z, I think is wrong. I'm now, X, Y, that. and Z may still be right. Googling, if you're female, Google me, fucking go for it. But I'm not going to retroactively start putting Band-Aids on it when it's so insane that like <laughs> whatever comes out of the wash on Can this, I because I it was a, a sense of betrayal. It was a sense totally. of violation. 100%. And it, it was kind of hurtful. And yeah. it also was just like, oh, my God. Did it scare you at all? It taught me a lot about myself. It was definitely like, oh, I get it. I'm, I, I can very easily get involved with people just because they like me. And that becomes its own thing. And it's like, which is something I always knew. But then in this situation, it was like tenfold. Yeah. And so like. There are lessons that I will learn as a result that are not um, necessary to be like articulated or like like logistically implant Im uh, implemented. Like I'm never gonna Google. It, now that's this said. That said, I absolutely would Google if it got to a point where it was serious and I, or I was actually wanting to start a relationship with this person, which it never did. But I don't like when stuff like this happens and it becomes this thing of like, well, just goes to show, Elliot, it's you're living your life poorly. Show. And it's, it's not like, like that. A, the, I take offense to no, and it, I don't think, and that wasn't my intention at all. My intention was. I live that life. I live that. I mean, that's just the woman journey of yes. like I, you live the paranoid life where literally like I remember going going on an Internet date with someone and Googling him immediately to find out he was a child predator. Yeah. To like find out immediately. Mm. And then you're like, mm. goodbye. And I confronted him. I was like, what is, you know, this? people change, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's why see, I feel like I'm Google middle. Steve is here. <laughs> I'm like right in the middle of this table. I don't find it. What no, Lee is yeah, saying, it's just one of those things but where I do it's like, find your guys is re like recoiling to it a little weird. My, we, it's like it kind of we live in the digital age. Yeah. It's just what happens. So I think it's a to each their own scenario. If you guys don't want I would, to, I, I don't agree. find that weird. I, but her, it's definitely a to each their own. And I, agree I never with. would mean it as like a this just goes to show. I just mean like for I I truly think it's one of those things of you are one of those people it that. You're handsome. That's so You're sweet. You're likable. You. You're very welcome. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man, it really no, does you, go. Now you have to I do love all it. I love it so much. No, I don't. I'm talking to Elliot. <laughs> Grow up. Um, and I would say handsome and likable for all of you. Except for I Steve would too. I'd there say it lovable. is. Um, <laughs> oh, you got lovable. You win. Damn, yeah, it's Steve you. is very he lovable. He just is. He's so affable. Do you want a little finger? He's drinking me up on <laughs> the table. Finger? No, 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 no. Uh, so, my, uh, yeah, no, go ahead, I'm just yeah. saying, well, I'm not trying to even be like, you're living your life poorly. That is not in my intention at all. My intention is, I think, and this could be uh, misconstrued, so I'll note that I know that. I think that when people tend to be as likable and as desirable as people like you, or as people like you seem to be, you have to watch out uh, for people that have intentions. And yeah. with Ill that comes intentions. Uh, ill intentions. And with that comes some preventative things. And I'm not saying this for everyone. I'm just saying this in the sense of like, you know, you're a bigger target for lack of a better fucking explanation. You're not wrong. You're you know, not wrong. it's a very unfortunate thing, but I've seen it happen. I We have a lot of friends that you've seen it happen to. Like I have friends that, have children out of really horrible circumstances like this and they were just like if only i knew uh blank and blank blank and blank you know and it's yeah it's a very unfortunate thing but Obviously. that's my main thing i, I, mean, I have and, one more and, thing to say but i yeah please well I, I i might in defense of my like super strong take Conviction. on this whole yeah. thing my hot take on this thing hot um my my whole thing is like um, you can do like you know, have fun, have fun, and meet people, and go on dates, and do this, and 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 just be safe. But it's like there's there's a way to kind of like get to know someone in in kind of like this way or that way, which is either you meet them and you get to know them, you don't judge a book by its cover, that whole thing. You kind of like get to know them in in a certain way. Yeah, it's like robbing somebody of the first impression. A little bit, yeah. And and that, again, these are all just kind of like. But different avenues but all i'm saying is is like the whole google thing is like 
sure, Google whoever the fuck you want. Like, this is a free country, free world, and the Google's in your fucking pocket all day. So, and it's easy to access yeah, and just are. do it. Sons of bitches. So, it's <laughs> like, um, you know, definitely go ahead and do that if you want to, but also know that, like, not everything is going to be on Google. And no, truly, you know, but I'm proof clearly of that. I murdered an entire was... family in Texas, <laughs> and I just, and I got away with it. So, that's good. Uh, that's good. Know, and so, yeah, you won't find that on Google. <laughs> Uh, music. I, I and the last thing oh. I'll say is, and Lee, please know that there's also just a sensitivity that I have with this no, stuff. No, I it's totally like, get it. You know, I I very much like it. It's a very. It's also like it's. It could have been very scary. So I understand yeah. the the uh, impetus is not the yeah, right the, word, but, but it, like it is. It, yeah, it's you like, know, like it comes from a place that. of like. And and I very much like have a thing where like I do want to like settle down and like I've done the whole thing and like, but I've also had uh, like exceptionally. Um, a, a, a storied relationship past, and this is just one more thing where it's just Truly. like you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, and, and so like there is like that where it's just like come on, one more, one more thing, and uh, well, and so it's I exhausting. Hope that you at won't times. think that it's like a, I hope that you won't think that it's like me being like come on, buddy, figure it out. And it's more along the lines, truly, of she you know, like you. I care yeah, about you. It's a protective you. thing, and it's, I, it's I, a protective I appreciate that. thing through and through, and also just like. Again, maybe it comes from me from 12 and on being hyper protective of myself because I live in a very aggressive world towards my gender and and aggressive in the not the you know what I mean. But like that. So maybe that comes from being like, I always have my dukes up. I I have since since I came into pube. You know, know? I guess, and I don't, and when I... Into pube. Into pube. And I kind of, like, have a tendency to be, like, hyper open and hyper, like, when I'm one-on-one with somebody, at least, uh, to a degree, and then, of course, that you know... Yeah, and then, of course, the walls go up, because, (laughs) come on. Um, But, yeah, there is a a too, a too, being too open thing that I for sure have as a result of not having been open for, like, 10 years, and now it's, like... The pendulum is just <laughs> swung, <laughs> swung into catfish territory. Sure. Um, but by the way, best catfish. Like, oh yeah, like she's really, like a fame. Like, she's really good at catfishing. Like I've seen you got her catfished mugshots. by the best. Yeah, mm-hmm. only Do you the think best. There's a story. The I made with See, <laughs> same beats. Yep. Do you think there's a story there that we could just use and use as a like 22 <laughs> catfish? <laughs> like if we could just write it. You, I hosted you a show that. about catfish. I know, I know you that did. she was in the promotional did. material for. Well, yeah, <laughs> had to have been. Or some, I've seen oh, her her stuff. The other interesting part of your story, which you didn't even touch on, was uh, the woman's intuition side of it. Oh like, yeah, Peter's girlfriend. The reason she looked her up is she was like. If this girl is as successful and well off as she yeah. claims to be, why is she be, with Elliot? <laughs> how was she able to say yes to two dates, or, like oh, spur in the a moment row. dates okay, but in can a I, row? I mean, I'm not going to be that person. But can I just point out that once again, a woman came in, a woman that had that uh, constant predatory nature in her life that had to have her dukes up probably 24 seven, 365, came in and was like. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. So she's all also I'm saying like is, a genius. Is maybe and she no, she, at it no, and she one hundred percent is. A and genius. she's also catfishing Peter, so the, she knows. I think she, the lesson mm-hmm. is is that red her, flags. Her name is Fred. Red flags <laughs> come in all shapes and sizes, and you don't always see them on your own. And uh, it's good to have uh, people in your life that you're just kind of discussing your goings ons with. <laughs> Here's oh you know? yeah, yeah let me lessons. let me add yeah, one more. Strung out Talk lesson. to your friends. Talk to everyone. If we're talking more reticent. If we're talking. Don't lessons. Google them. Don't Google um, them. No, no, no. God, don't, 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 don't. Invasion of privacy. Speaking of like, you'll go- follow their Instagram all motherfucking <laughs> never day long. But yeah, like, but that's like the equivalent of right. going through to someone's like Instagram all the way to 2014 and liking one photo and then going like, did hey, you hey, go? Hey. Through oh shit, their I liked Instagram it. Instagram no. all uh-huh. the way to 2014. Yeah, but not like. I mean, but no googling. Of- never. Go- and I even knew her last name, and I just didn't Google her. But here's what I'm gonna say about the red flag thing. Sure. And this is if we're talking lessons learned. It's so funny, by the way, that it did become like never Google versus always Google, and you're just like, no, like Google <laughs> if you want to Google. <laughs> you yeah. probably should if you're, you know, in a more Definitely vulnerable Google position. Definitely Google if you want to Google. I for think. Sure. I feel like you're, you're setting yourself up for a different kind of pain because you even admitted it. Like I'll Google when I'm in love, and then you find the secrets. Oh That's God! A worse what a worse. Not in love. Not <laughs> Not to be that person, but imagine 
Okay, opposite it. No, no, no. Having someone inside <laughs> you and then being like, cool, they I'd were say there's some. I'm so there. glad I we honestly, didn't have sex. I'm so honestly, glad. I feel there. like, oh my God. There. If that would actually, saying. I probably wouldn't be talking about it on the podcast. I feel no. like, you know, how, you know how we, like, this is this is a generational thing at this point. I think it's like one of those things where it's like. We're all in the same generation. Remember the whole, Steve. like, remember the whole, like, um, <laughs> remember the whole text, like, when do you text someone after they give you sure, their yeah, number yeah, thing? Yeah. Like, I think this is just something we have to talk about. And I think we found, like, a, like an interesting kind of middle ground of like when to google someone and i think like i like the idea of giving someone like not robbing someone of their first impressions especially if it's someone that you're okay. gonna meet with just for a fucking casual drink one night and then i think maybe it's like what do you google on the second date okay, maybe so google on the third date yeah. before, before you, it's just, the, the that's what i mean by generation first impression has been had though because the way people are meeting now is on tinder and whatever, yeah. whatever. Right, but i'm talking about first physical mm. real impression like when you meet them but it's already that impression is already, already provided it's not it's really it's like yes well, I would disagree, by instagram I just, by any, if here's you do why i disagree with on that on the net you it's skewed right but instagram even texting Twitter, whatever, you're putting forth like this superhero version of yourself where you're like, your Which life is, is perfect. Your life you is this. Ooh, man, or just Instagram fucking better. meet someone. Or just meet someone. Like, fucking meet someone. And if you're a judge of character in any way, you can tell if someone's like Ooh. fucking not okay. Yeah, and if not, no, Google them on the second day. That's not true at all. <laughs> I really think this is agree, totally no, right. I, agree, yeah. right? Okay, I do agree fully, yeah. I just but think it's gross. Like, if someone came to me, if I went on a date with someone, first fucking date. And I wasn't who I was. I wasn't like a YouTube person or whatever. And they were like, so I Googled you. I'd be like, gross. You don't have to well, bring it up. Well, of course not with that stupid voice. But it's weird. It's like, so you know what I, I mean? Googled you. I but won't even like, listen to the, to a podcast if they have a podcast. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. exactly. Give them a chance to sit across from Instagram. me. Yeah. Uh, I, I dated Brie for three years and I didn't watch anything she made. I also, if they... <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what a fossa is? Fossa? Moo fossa? It's the thing water comes out of. No, you know what a fossa is? No. It's a lion. It's not a lion. Well, yeah, Mufasa. that's a moo fossa or a cow fill in the blank. Moo fossa. That was dumb. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> what were you going no, for? Nothing. I don't know. <laughs> 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 this is one of those moments in the podcast where it, we're doing that thing where we go from tone to tone with this, like, <laughs> and we can't yeah. do it. Yeah. We're just stumbling <laughs> the fuck <laughs> over. <laughs> over the train, Find a bit. Find a bit. Yeah. What is the bit? A faucet. That's why I was like, let's answer this phone call for my brother. I know. But I was like, in terms of the predatory nature, I was like, oh god, here we go. You were cutting through the tension. There's just so much. Like this will be fun. This will be cute and nice. <laughs> okay, I stepped on it and you stepped Wait, I'm sorry. Right. So we went to, uh, my family and I, we went to the Living Zoo in uh, See, Palm in a, Springs. Yes, it's so great. It's I love the Living Zoo. It's really cool. And there's, a, there's cool. a bunch of animals from all over the world, in, including Africa and Madagascar. There's giraffes. And, and there are giraffes. We kind of all live in a Living Zoo, don't we? <laughs> right? <laughs> Steve. Right? <laughs> there's the bit. We're we all found in a cage. <laughs> we're all caged up here. Um, but anyways, we come, we're, we're going through and we're seeing all these cool animals. We see camels up close and... Kids are happy. I'm happy. It's like I'm, I'm sad a little bit because zoos are inherently <laughs> Your face sad. just lit up when you said, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, but we, when you actually get up to these animals yeah. up close that you never see, it's always fascinating, they're, right? They're like, oh, the aliens true. are here. All these mm -hmm. like animals Majestic, from different continents beautiful. and stuff. It's yeah. crazy. Um, Megafauna. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, but we end up going in front of this, cave, this, this, this enclosure, and it's a pretty big enclosure, and there's a lot of things to climb on. I'm trying to find the thing that that's living in it sure. and then i see it and what i see is something that looks like a cougar um met a weasel on tinder and they, they like they met each other and it wasn't a catfish situation and after a long time they fell in love and then they had a child <gasps> and that thing then <gasps> went yes. and met a lemur a and then they is. had sex and then the, so there are these really elongated um like otter, they almost look like, look like otter, otters. lion, weasel. Things. Yes, they're Whoa. so cool looking. So I discover what a what a fossa is for the first time, and it's Dude. this creature from Madagascar. Madagascar. And it's actually in the movie Madagascar. Is it, actually, it the yes, fossa? It is oh. in the movie. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of it, and we'll put one up on the visual part of this podcast. I wonder. I'd like to know the Latin and if there is a connection between that the is fossa what a fossa, and fossa is. That is not a cat. Weird. That's Isn't not that a cool? cat. It's not a cat. It's in the uh, the same family as the civets. Yeah, you can tell by the tail, but it definitely... Or and like the tail hind, is as long or legs. longer than its body. It looks like it's got kangaroo legs. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a there. fascinating animal, and we'll show. St- you know what Steve it's like? Well. It's like that one when we, Steve and I were talking about the Kermit and Fozzie Bear thing. Yes. <laughs> wow. Where did I see a photo of that thing? Was Steve did you post? I that? showed you. Yeah. Oh, and I posted it on my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Wow. Look that's at the this largest predator in thing. Madagascar. Dude, that's not a cat either. Yeah. He's beautiful. Isn't that cool? I know. I want to cuddle it. I do. I know. You'd probably rip my face off. Yeah, I'm gonna cuddle it. Throw it. Uh-huh. Eat it would chew you alive. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta eat your butt for breakfast. Oh, it'll eat me right up. <laughs> oh, baby. Yo. I will last it the winter. <gasps> Look how cute he is. So he these is bosses, like a little weasel guy. These mosses are the biggest predators in yeah. on Madagascar. You know what they look like? They look like the weasels huh. from. Toontown. They look like yes. the... Yeah, they do. That yes, they, they truly do. Do you guys want to see what a baby one looks like? Oh, my God. Baby Fudger. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Oh, oh my, my God. fucking God. It's the cutest <laughs> oh. little thing. So everybody look, look up that. a fossa right oh. now so you know what we're looking at. Look up at. a fossa and then immediately the... look up a baby fossa. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but we'll, po- we'll post. Yeah, we'll post. Look at the nards on photo. these fossas. Oh, they have very interesting genitalia nards. that I learned about. For sure. Nards. Let me have a look. Hold on, I gotta. I missed it. I gotta Google fossa nards. Let me get in there. <laughs> what you wearing under those clothes? A bra. What? Mm, okay. Uh, sorry. Um, let me. What are you wearing under those pants? Underwear. Do they happen to be uh, me undies? Yes. Yeah. 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 What why a coincidence. Are you, why are you bringing this up, Joe? What a Ooh, coincidence. Because uh, we are sponsored today by me undies. <laughs> The undies. Hey guys, take a moment to think about your undies, just for a, just a moment. Okay. Just take a pause. Okay. I'm okay. thinking. Yeah. Hi. And if you're thinking about me undies, are you pretty comfy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are comfy because they literally are the best. We all rock these underwear. We all super love them. They're the the comfy. comfiest dang underwear so I think we have ever worn. Certainly. Dang underwear. Wonderful. Yeah, and they're very bright and vibrant. Mm-hmm. Soft. They got personality. Yeah, they do. They are. Um, MeUndies are made with a material sustainably sourced from beechwood trees, everybody. Their naturally soft fiber makes a fabric that won't sag down or ride up. This is true. Mm -hmm. Do you feel supported right now, Lee? I feel incredibly supported. Do you feel like all your junk is held in nice? Well, it has to be. (laughs) (laughs) With MeUndies, you can get undies sent right to your door. No more (laughs) hunting around for the perfect pair at a crowded store and eventually settling Mm -hmm. for something Mm -hmm. good enough. Mm-hmm. You know? oh, oh, I think Steve just filled his MeUndies. Yes, I did. I gave it a little bit of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. They My need un- that twice a day. It keeps them aerated yeah, and the, fresh. The MeUndies were feeling a little chilly. So yeah, you warmed warm them up. up. <laughs> a little simmer for your undies. <laughs> me undies is so sure you're gonna love your first pair that you, if you're not happy they'll do whatever they can to get you the right pair and if they can't keep them and they'll refund you so mm. it's a risk free thing to try and if you want to we got a little valley folk <laughs> offer for you Ooh. here <gasps> me undies has a deal for our listeners first time purchasers get 20 percent off the first pair of me undies and free shipping that's a double bonus 20 percent off and free shipping good deal uh, get your 20% off and your 100% satisfaction guarantee by going to meundies.com slash valley. What you should do, too, if you're a first-time order is order a bunch. Like, just just redo all your underwear. Yeah. That yes. way you have, because there's something to be said about having the same type of thing. You know, like, I ch- I am a little peeved I don't have all me undies. Right. Underwear. Like, I want, like, to deck out my, my that way you yeah. always mm-hmm. know the feeling. You can grab Also, you can always have a fun little thing around A little nards. secret. A like little a secret. Like a nice little avocado nerds. Yeah. That's cute. Meundies.com slash valley, everybody. Check it out. Yeah. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, 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 wah, yeah, wah, yeah, wah. yeah. I went camping. It was wonderful. It was nice and transformative. We went by a beach, and that was nice. I do prefer woods over beach. I'm going to say it. It's polarizing, I know. I don't, but I don't think it's that polarizing. polarizing episode. I understand. I think um, ca- wood camping far superior to beach it, camping. Beach There's camping no is sand. It's really cool, uh, but there is sand. And then also, like, you know, it's just beach camping. Like, I want to go hiking. I want to go do some cool things, you know? Um, that being said. Yeah, you're either building a sand castle or going swimming. There's fire pits, so that's yeah. what's cool. Like, that is nice. And then also there's, like, the relaxation of, like, the waves crashing and lulling you to sleep and all, et cetera, et cetera. You get it. Um, you gotta but, watch out for those sharks, though. Yeah, there was a lot tent. of dolphins. That was actually really cool. Did you cool see dolphins? Tons of freaking dolphins. Cute. Dude, it was really cute. And also dolphins are cute. pelicans. 
Wow, a pelican. Pelican. <laughs> Dolphins um, are one of those animals that it doesn't matter how many times you see them in real life. If you're just sitting on the, the beach or in a boat and you see a dolphin, you always it, go, oh, always look at the dolphin. dolphin. I know. Yeah. Look no at that matter dolphin. what. Was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dolphins. And you're uh, always and they amazed. Were doing like, they were doing like a show for us. They were like out Juggling. the water. Juggling. Probably in killing something 100%. Yeah. Um, like <laughs> having guaranteed. Having copious amounts of sex. They were copious amounts of either having sex or killing something. <laughs> Um, you know, the normal. Doing the but thing where they just beat another <laughs> dolphin up with yeah. their noses. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that was really cool, and it was super awesome. Oh, here you go, buddy. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, Ooh, let's not nice. spill that on Lee. Oh, oh sorry, no, I'm fine. You're all right. No, but it was really cool, super cool. Uh, my p- parents were there. They love camping as well, and we'd planned mm. this trip out years ago. And by years, I mean last year. Um, but we year found this ago. really a year ago. Um, they have this super cute little 1963 Oasis like trailer, which is like all refurbed and done like a little 60s trailer. It's cool. so Airs- stinking cute. It's, an it's not an Airstream. It's it's like, but just as cool, cool. and kitschy and yeah, like fun. weird and fun. And it was super fun. And we'd like redone Gus, the van that we've been working on. And it was like one of those the most satiating thing to like put so much work and effort into something which we truly did like when i talk about everything that we have done to it it wasn't just like a we got a van and we did this it was like no we got a van we completely gutted it we soundproofed it we you got a gus we got a gut mm. we got a gus we got oh, it yeah in. this was the inaugural trip after this your is makeover. The, this is the maiden voyage cool. you know and so we did that we like we bought an entire set of cabinets from a different rusted old van we completely cleaned them out like triple whatever put it into a bed it was crazy um and so that was really fun and it was a maiden voyage uh, my pops has meniers which is a uh it's a it's a disease but it's like it's a degenerative it Meniere's disease. Meniere's, like and it's a French um, word? it does sound like it, but Meniere's. it's like a basically what it is is like your ears kind of just start to there's cochlea in it, and it kind of just starts to disintegrate a little mm. bit, and so he's been slowly going deaf over the last two mm. years, which is crazy. And also, like if you know him at all, he's this brilliant, brilliant mind. So I think that he struggles a lot with that. Like, and it's not just like, oh, he's going deaf. It so- comes with ver- like crazy vertigo, which uh, is horrible. That's awful. Um, crazy vertigo. It comes with like you know everything that you hear is like a wave of sound, and it's insane. And so he has the best hearing aids that he can buy, but it doesn't matter because it all sounds insanity. And it's just like when he turns. So on this trip, it happened, and it was so crazy. I actually got to see it. It's his, he was like tr- laying down positionally, and his eyes went every single direction, and the like pupils went opened up and closed, and opened up and closed. And he was like, "Did you see that?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he goes, "That was. It's called blah 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 blah." And it truly is like me trying to find my place. It feels like I'm falling backwards. It feels Jesus. like I'm falling forward. Oh my god! T- it's dizziness. And it's insane. His eyes went different directions. Oh, different. I mean, truly, like you couldn't train your eyes to do it. What it looked like was a camera shutter, like trying to focus. You know, when you see yeah. like that, like Jeez. it truly was like this, kush, 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 and like both of them were it's like just going like a crazy. short in the system, like a short in the system. And yeah. he was just like, and he's what I, my topic is is like. I'm so blown away by him constantly because this is something that, especially for him and his mind, and you see him like check out of conversations, and rightly so, because he can't, it's just exhausting to try and do things. And he, he, nothing drives him more insane than like, um, than saying never mind. So we've had to learn as a family that like, instead of saying something and him going, what? Um, going, never mind. Like, we can't. We have to like actually be like, oh, uh, you, you, say it again. Say you. it as many times oh, as you need to hear yeah, him. Yeah, because it's you know, not. It's yeah. not he doesn't want to miss out on he it. He doesn't want to miss out on it. And also, it just frustrates him, which I totally yep. understand. But my topic is, is like, he's going through this. And to anyone else, I truly think it would be something that there's an insanely high suicide rate in many years. There's a crazy, crazy high suicide rate because you just can't cope with it well your body is betraying you your body is betraying you. you're unable to like experience life you're only and also just like again i think if he was just going deaf it'd be a different thing but it's like everything it's like the vertigo the this Mm -hmm. the that the not knowing when it's going to be a sound that gets like (sighs) sound in your ear constantly oh my gosh Um, but his spirit is so insane is so incredible and it's just one of those like uh, this whole trip kind of reinvigorated me in a weird way because it was so crazy to see him just being like this sucks and it is what it is, but you know what? Like I'm breathing, I'm living. And it was like such a inspiration. It was was truly something that I needed to hear and see from him because it was just so like, 
why am I complaining about anything? It's a perspective you know? like, providing moment. It was moment. such a perspective yeah. providing moment. And he's like sitting there under the stars that he can't look at because they all get dizzy. And he was just like, I bet they're beautiful. They're always Ugh. beautiful. And you're just like, fuck. Ugh. And it's so hard. Like, I know that I know that a lot of our listeners are actually going through like parents aging which is something that's very mm-hmm. weird that you don't think about until you're directly it's, smashed it in it scares you later it in scares life. you and also just like these are if, to me they're you know they're my constants you know they're my they're my north stars so it's mm-hmm. like a very weird thing to like be like oh my god like this is real mm-hmm. you know they age things happen and like this no one could foresee this no one could prevent this you know but i just want to say like it was one of those things where i truly needed it as perspective and like even just those that shifting things and i don't know if you guys have experienced this like with your parents aging and going like you know as you get older there's things that happen where you either become more candid with your folks and you kind of go like this is so nice to get into this new relationship where we like they used to be my parents and now they're kind of my friends and we talk and we talk about real life stuff and I didn't think I could talk about real life stuff with them and I do. Mm-hmm. And then there's those things that come along that you're like, oh shit, you're aging and this is a reality for me. You know, like it was one of those things that was just a very enlightening trip for me to be like, oh. And it makes you want to have those conversations more often. Yes, it truly does. And it also like makes me go like, oh, I just need to talk to him about it because he's so, I think that the natural uh, proclivity is to be like, it's okay. We don't talk, you know, like no one is, it's all right. Like this is something that's frustrating, but he wanted to talk about it. He's just like, yeah, this sucks. This is balls. This is full balls, you know, like, mm-hmm. but his perspective was so good. And so I didn't know if there's anything that you guys ever experienced in that way of like, as you get older, it's not just parents aging, it's parents aging up in the weird way of like you being an adult and you talking about like divorce or talking about things that you go like, Oh, this is, thank you for, being honest with me about this or thank you for like growing up with me about this i don't know it's a fascinating thing i don't know if it's happened in your guys i've always tried to push i I think from the age 15 on i i tried to make a conscious effort to push conversations with my dad and try to try to get him to talk about things that maybe you don't necessarily want to talk to your kids about i i would ask him about his first relationships i'd ask him about when he lost his virginity like i wanted i i like testing him it's half a game for me but it's also getting to know him and it's, it's opening up a little treasure box every time I get to do it and finding something Truly. that wasn't there. And I, and I, and I learned lessons from it. And, um, I highly suggest people try to talk to their parents like, like humans. You have to drop the hero aspect a little bit and just, mm-hmm. and, and come at it on as if you're both on the same level. I think it's fascinating and I think it's, I think it's fun for them. I think it's therapeutic for both sides. Truly. I think it's eye opening. Um, yeah. yeah. It's cool. I don't know. It was just a really cool thing of being like, oh, you're a human. Mm-hmm. It's so cool that you're a human. And also, you're really dope for being a dope human through this. Like, yeah. anyone else would be like, bye, see you later, done. Perspective is it. fun, too. Like, I, I remember how I felt during, let's say, when my mom and my dad got a divorce back in the day. I know how I felt then. I know how I felt, I feel now. And I, I like to have those conversations with them. I'll, I'll look back and be like, how were you feeling yeah. during that? How did you do? And 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 t- talk to me about that. And now, how do you feel twenty years later? Like it's, I, I think I think they're all healthy conversations to have. Yeah, I mean, your parents are humans too, and they probably went through a lot of the same things you went through as a struggling teen or mm-hmm. as a struggling adult. Yeah. And you know, um, yeah, you kind of forget that you're made of the same stuff that they are. Yeah, like fifty like percent. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Almost it, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, s- <laughs> and that's fact. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, it's really just one of those things where it's like, yeah, I mean, just knowing knowing that your parents are are also just humans and and also get sick and feel pain and and um, regret and all of those things. It's just something to keep in mind um, when kind of just like uh, I guess I don't know, getting older and and yeah. l- learning more about them. I mean, it's it's just important to be there for your family and uh, you know, especially if they're still around and um, you know. It's just that that kind of thing. I mean, obviously, like you know, I, my, I lost all of my grandparents. My last grandparent yeah. I lost this year, and uh, that was a real tough one. But yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like you know, life is uh, it's a s- super quick thing, apparently, and especially mm-hmm. and even to like a very old man like my grandpa who was like, it just went by so fast, and That's it's really so just it's too. really just kind of a uh, really interesting interesting thing that uh, is hard to to live in but Mm -hmm. you know anytime you can break down the perceived hierarchy of a relationship be it grandparent parent or even somebody that you idolize heroes 
Yeah. If you can get to that human level, and it, it sometimes it's hard, and sometimes you have to you have to challenge yourself to do it. Sure. You can learn so much. Yeah. And yeah. just in case you guys are struggling with that, like I'm I'm just like you. Like you don't have to. Sure. You sure. don't have to put me on this pedestal. But you should only do it with people that you want to do. Yeah, that that's with. really yeah. a big you one. Yeah. I mean? Don't sure. just waste You're your time <laughs> on someone. <laughs> you definitely Google them um, before you. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I keep getting like a th- uh, I'm getting very emotional and so I don't I can't talk too much but I will say uh, that when everything happened a week and a half ago as funny as it was oh oh shit oh oh no uh, gonna, you gonna do it yeah okay. I'm trying not to look, um, up, look at the light look at the light uh, look right in the camera uh, let your heart sing no God it's horrible <laughs> um look at this I photo of my dad hey hey cue it up if Elliot starts crying you play that okay. goddamn bungle right. music. yeah please <laughs> do please do please do right. now it's it's so welcome right now you're right it came back it's right. a it's a it's a sign <laughs> whatever that um well when you force it uh, I remember when everything was uh, <laughs> when, every, well, when there's no choice yeah. um. W- <laughs> When everything was happening with the 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 girl, is at, like when I was talking to Pete and his girlfriend about it, and I was just like venting and like going through all these emotions. Like I just remember there being this like little kid in me that was like, I want to talk to my dad real bad, and it yeah. happened. Yeah, uh, and then I did, and it was great. But oh, there was like the um, was he like you should have Googled her son? Oh, it was so. <laughs> I mean, the story is <laughs> yeah. He literally said hashtag always Google. Uh. But anyway, we started talking. It was great. And, and and it was just like I needed to also just to laugh with him about it. And it was he, it, he you know, came through. But, um, yeah, there's all, it's it's the, the talking. And uh, oh, we got you. Oh, got you. Cue it up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a big, big, big kind of topic out of this, but um We've talked at great lengths about these things. I mean, I, I've talked about it in my career a lot, and I'm, I'm a big advocate for mental health awareness, and, and especially as someone who's suffered from depression and anxiety to the point where it was very de- debilitating for me and, and ruined my life in a lot of ways. Um, so um, we do talk about this quite a bit, and um, maybe not enough, but uh, th- this, this week and today has been a really tough one in just in kind of like humanity just because we we lost some pretty amazing people um in in the celebrity world and kind of like the in in the um pop culture world Kate Spade is one who mm-hmm. who we lost to suicide and um and and then today Anthony Bourdain who um was just like an incredible person and and everyone's sounding off on on their amazing stories about Anthony Bourdain um which I think you should dive into because there's some really really great touching stuff out there from people we all love and respect uh that and he had a quite the up and down existence too yeah 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 and he was just really the kind of guy that like you know I I, I think it was Andy Richter who maybe tweeted something about how like they're calling us a, a calling him a celebrity chef, but he was more like an educator and a and a teacher yeah. and, and um, he brought uh, like the world at least the world that I didn't know he brought that to into existence for people yeah and and there's just a lot of really sweet things being said about him today but um, you know as important as it is to celebrate that man and and these people who we lose too early in 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 this strange strange thing we're living in called life it's important to just remember that um you know with mental health it's it's truly a serious thing and it's really one of those things where whenever this happens to someone um larger than life someone we idolize someone who's in in the zeitgeist in the in movies and tv shows you always think like, how is it possible? They're rich. They they have everything. They're famous. They, you know, and and that's brought up on a constant basis whenever we hear about a, a someone like that dying, especially from suicide. You and can't see into their minds and their hearts. Certainly right? not. And and I think you know, Robin Williams was kind of a massive eye opener for a lot of people yes. because the man just in every aspect looked like a happy, content person. And at the end of the day, he was really suffering with with um, mental health issues and 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 physical health issues mm-hmm. and and um, and just like Lee's, uh, who, who, what's your relation to this man who who has the the ear? My dad. Your dad. Your dad. So um, wow, I guess I missed that part. Shit, it's You're your fine. dad. I love you, Lee. I'm so sorry. You're fine, babe. Whoa, um, where were you? I yeah. heard. I heard whatever you said. You didn't say dad. You said no, something else. You said yeah. like my my. Yeah. 
Were you going to yeah. do like a shout out to Brad at the end of this episode? I was. <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to do a shout out Thanks, to Brad. Uncle Tom the werewolf. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> that turns into a dog. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Lee, who were you talking about? <laughs> uh, sorry, Elliot. I'm sorry. You went on a date? I did. <laughs> I wasn't uh, here at all. She's great. Uh, Hold on a second. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Lee, what was your topic? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just one of those things where, um, you know, you don't you don't know what's going on in 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 people's minds and you don't know what everyone's struggling with and and if you are the type of person that um you know c- c- has the strength to 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 um you know fight through hardships and 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 um you know th- th- your day just and you you have the capability of within yourself to to um power through a lot of life's hardships um, then that's incredible and amazing and and beautiful and wonderful. But there are so many people that don't, and mm-hmm. and um, so many people, and um, it's it's really it's really something that we all need to be aware of and consider and and realize that depression is very real and um, anxiety and all of these things, these debilitating things that lead to terrible um, tragedies are real, yeah. and um, the proof is is all over the internet right now. I mean, just Google Anthony Bourdain and you'll see that this is a very real thing and and Kate Spade and Robin Williams and just every other um, genius and wonderful person we've lost too soon uh, to, to such a um, a terrible thing that, that I believe um, you can get help for mm-hmm. and, and the help exists for these things and um you know we could talk a very very long time about our own personal experiences with suicide and or depression or any of these things but i think it's just more important to kind of just focus on the fact that if you are someone listening now and you you have you struggle with happiness you struggle with your day you struggle with with finding your place in the world just know that absolutely you're not alone and you're not. There are many, 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 many countless people that are um, all four of us here. Yes, have felt oh, that absolutely in 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 so many ways, in every possible way, and and um, and in ways that we'll never understand. Also, and um, but but just know you're not alone, and um, you know there are ways to get help. Obviously, there's national suicide prevention mm-hmm. lifelines, and there's websites you can go to, and. And and even um, for those of you that are kind of um, you know maybe not into the idea of talking to someone on the phone, talking to a stranger, they're uh, using your voice. There's also texts that yeah. you can send to to hotlines. Like I think in the U.S., you can text home to seven four one seven four one, and there's twenty four seven crisis support from people that are just Beautiful. there to listen, to talk, to text. You know, it's very easy. Um, very simple. There's just so many. Uh, um, there's there's so many services out there for you, and and you know mental health services, uh, you know friends, family, p- people in your life that you trust. They're all there for you, and and um, there's so many options. There's just so many options before um, choosing the 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 destructive option, and. Um, I just, yeah, I'm just here to say that, you know, as someone who has felt some end of this spectrum of depression and and has been there in some small way that um, I understand and I'm here and, you know, tweet at me if you want to talk and, um, you know, and maybe we can DM or something. And I I would definitely be open to just like talking to anyone that needs to talk and um, because I think it's important and I do care and I do feel like everyone has the right to happiness and and. Um, a healthy uh, life. So yeah. yeah, that's where I'm coming from I with think all it's this. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I um, and I'll also link in the in the description of this video wherever it ends up, wh- whether it's the um, I guess it would be the highlight video that we put up on on YouTube on Thursdays. But I'll put a link to just a list of suicide crisis lines, and there's mm-hmm. so many, and it's just regional. It's all over the world. There are lines, and there are people that, that are there to help, and so whether it's texting or calling, there's so many ways to uh, reach out to someone for just to talk to. So yeah. anyway, that's, that's my love it. Very good. That's it. Very good, Steve. Very, very good. 
I was about to break down about five times. This is like therapy. therapy. I, yeah, I didn't this cry, but I should have at least. My, I have a headache from not crying. Oh, you're holding it. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, I got it. I got it back down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for listening. Thank and, you, um, you know, if, you, if you'd like to check out some of the other stuff we're doing, go to YouTube.com slash The Valley Folk and check out some of our fun sketches and, and highlight versions of this podcast. And if you'd like to become a patron to help support this endeavor and and uh, launch us into the future of awesome entertainment, uh, then you can go to patreon.com slash the valley folk. And um, yeah, as far as like information goes, we're like Elliot said, we're shooting some more segments for Ooh. your show today and it's coming together. And before you know it, we'll have a pilot ready to go for you patrons. And yeah. it's we very, just launched, very exciting. Uh, some very merch. Exciting. You can, we'll put a link in the description for that. We have uh, some t shirts and buttons and, and decals and stuff. Yeah. We're growing. We're, it, growing. we're growing because of you guys. So pl- thank you for the support. And, yeah. and uh, if you're not supporting, please consider it. Check it out and see if you can help us grow a little bit. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. So big thanks to you guys once again, and uh, we'll catch you next time on the Valley Cast. Bye. 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 <laughs>